I want to take one of my fading businesses and see if by implementing some new strategies we can turn this thing profitable again. So in 2019 I started a brand new website with the intent of becoming the largest boating related site in the Netherlands. But after several setbacks and a long period of me just not working on the site, the numbers started to dwindle to the point where we're at today, which is not good. But here I am, ready to give this site one last go. Okay, so there's actually a lot, and I mean a lot of stuff that needs to be done here. Like. Updating plugins, improving mandatory pages, cleaning up and improving old articles, interlinking, spelling checks, adding affiliate links, improving EAT, doing keyword research, adding pictures to the articles, adding socials, and of course, adding new articles. But after all of that's done, hopefully next year we can hit some new maxes and evade some taxes. Just kidding, I would never do that. <laughs> So since we have a rather extensive checklist, I figured let's start with the simplest tasks like updating the theme and plugins and making sure all the mandatory pages are set up correctly and are up to date. I then also updated the about me page to be more relevant and correct and hopefully it shows me as more of an authority in the space. Over the last couple of years, authority has become more and more important. It's the so-called EAT or expertise, authoritativeness and trustworthiness. It basically means that you need to show Google you actually know what you're talking about. Yeah, Google definitely does a great job at that. <laughs> so I started this site in 2019. And while I initially worked on this site, things did slow down. See, I had another site at the time that was pulling in a calm $4,000 a month. So after the honeymoon phase was over, I kind of neglected this one. Which brings us to today, where we have a site with only 44 articles. And since this site is both Dutch and seasonal, we're really not getting that many visitors right now. During the summer months, this site averages around 10 to 12k page views every single month, while during the winter months, it's more like 1 to 3000 page views every single month. It's not a whole lot. And while we can't fight the site being in Dutch, we can actually combat seasonality. And it all really ties back to the bulk of the plan, which is creating more content. Now the overall content goal is to reach 100 articles by the end of this year. That's an extra 56 articles in the coming 2 or so months. And to combat seasonality, I plan on writing around 20 to maybe 25 articles about winter related topics. Things like winter storage, maintenance and maybe even painting or selling your boat. Just some stuff that will be relevant when you're not actually out sailing, so that the gap between summer and winter is close just a little bit more. So let's actually sit down, find a topic and just start writing. As for the other articles, these will mostly be written about summer topics, but I'm not just going to be picking random topics to write about. The new meta is to be a lot more methodical by creating these so-called content clusters. With this approach, you basically write everything under the sun about a certain topic, say maintenance. You cover winter storage, paint upkeep, how to treat your wooden deck, how to prepare the boat for colder temperatures, everything there is about maintenance and your boat. And you can go even deeper by picking just one of those topics. So you go maintenance and then winter storage and then heated winter storage or winter storage plus a paint job, everything there is about this subtopic as well. And only after covering everything there is to cover about winter storage do you move on to the next topic. Say how to treat your wooden deck. You then cover the types of wooden decks, which soaps you can or can't use, everything there is about wooden decks. Go very in depth and write every relevant article and interlink between those. And before you know it, you've covered pretty much everything there is about boats and maintenance. Then you move on to the next cluster, which could be something like the rules on the water or covering popular cities to visit. And then you just repeat the same process once more. So let's sit down and actually form some of these overarching clusters. Okay, so one thing I noticed is that I have way too many categories. I have like 10, of which three have pretty much zero articles in there. And this is a massive sign of thin content, which could be a negative ranking factor. So I'll condense it down into five, which will also be my five main clusters. Now, since I already have articles in all of these clusters, I'm just going to pick one and neglect the other four and just go all in on the single one. Another thing to keep in mind is that this site is in Dutch and there's only like 25 million people speaking Dutch in the entire world. So there's a lot less available traffic for this site. In English you can dive pretty much as deep as you want into any specific topic. But in Dutch or any other language that's just not that commonly spoken, you can go too niche down. Sometimes there just isn't enough volume. So where in Dutch my maintenance cluster may contain something like 50 articles, in English it could easily be over 300 articles. That said, there's actually a very good reason that I want to focus my efforts on a Dutch site. See, I have a history with Google and its core updates. They just always seem to affect me negatively. No, no, this, this whole thing, all of this, it's all about me. 
And combine these negative updates with the fact that competition in English is just extremely high, it makes more sense for me to focus on a Dutch site. There simply isn't that much competition in Dutch either, and this site is a perfect example of that. With only 44 articles of admittedly poor quality and being 3 years old, this site is still ranking very solidly. So I think with a little more love and a little more work, Dutch sites are still something to really consider. And that's also partly the reason why I wanted to work on this site in the first place. If I can get some results with this site, I want to consider actually starting a portfolio of smaller Dutch websites. So I've been working on writing some new articles within these new clusters, but there's another important factor when it comes to topical authority, which is interlinking. This is something I neglected a little, especially three years ago, but it's something I really need to work on. So interlinking is basically where you link from one article to other relevant articles. So for example, let's say I have an article about the best places to sail in Amsterdam. Of course it will make sense for me to link from that article to my other article that are written about the rules of sailing in Amsterdam. These two are connected so it makes sense to link from one to the other. It also improves topical authority. And since I only have about 44 articles online, it makes sense to just do this manually instead of using a pay tool like Link Whisper. So while interlinking, I noticed that a lot of the older articles are in need of a touch-up. So I went through every single article, added extra content, cleaned up any spelling mistakes and just pressed enter a bunch of times to make the text more readable. After that I continued interlinking between all the articles that are already online and I also made a note for interlinking opportunities within these new clusters. This way I can simply come back later when the new articles are online and place those links. Whew, okay, this is actually a lot more work than I initially thought, so I've done about half and I will tackle the other half tomorrow. So it's been about a week since I filmed the last part and I've just been steadily working on all of the improvement points. All the old articles are now updated and look and read much better. I also wrote the first few articles for the new cluster and I interlinked everything together. And honestly, with most of the maintenance work done, this is what the bulk of the work will look like. Pick a cluster, cover it in its entirety, interlink between all of the articles and then just move on to the next one. Over the next few days, I sat down and I simply wrote a whole lot. I had all my keyword research done to write about 25 articles, mostly covering summer topics. Since it takes around 6 to 9 months for an article to rank, the idea is to write now and hopefully rank next summer when the site is at its seasonal peak. Now after this first batch, I do plan on actually writing some winter stuff as well. In Dutch, I notice articles rank a lot faster, typically taking like 4 to 6 months. Now the off season for boating in the Netherlands is from October to like March or April, so any articles on the off season I write right now could realistically still rank for this off season. So if you like, we have a pretty solid plan for the coming few months. The first one is of course to reach the 100 articles by the end of the year, and then I want to add like 15 to 20 articles a month, and then slightly slowing down nearing the summer. This is mainly to check if the work actually has a return. I'm still a little pessimistic about blogs and websites, so as time goes by, I will continue to reevaluate. But most of the plan right now was centered around getting traffic numbers back up. But what about actually making the site profitable? Well, first off, the site is already profitable. You're a fake and a fraud! I earn between $20 and $80 a month from ads and affiliate deals and I pay around $70 a year for web hosting and the domain name. I also write everything myself so there's no writer costs nor any AI costs. That said, the site is profitable but it only earns around $300 every single year which really isn't that much. Typically you monetize a site with display ads and affiliate links. Display ads are typically the major earners but I noticed that for Dutch sites it's actually affiliate links that can make the big bucks. The RPM or revenue per milli just isn't that high for Dutch sites. Meanwhile, I found affiliate commission percentages are a lot higher. For example, Amazon US pays around 3% in commissions. Meanwhile, the largest Dutch marketplace gets around 8 to 10% commission, so that's a lot better and I think that's where I will focus my efforts. And of course, the first thing to do here is to go through all of the old articles and see if I can spot some opportunities for affiliate links. After that, it's time to go through the articles I recently published and also add some links. These are all going to bold.com, which is basically the Dutch Amazon, but in the future I would like to actually partner up with a boating company as well. And lastly, I like to fill up some of these clusters with affiliate content. Not a whole lot of course, just where it makes sense but I think these will really add to the overall bottom line. We can also link to these affiliate articles from within the cluster and that way we can actually provide some additional value as well. So here's one last screenshot of where we're at today. These are the current traffic numbers and now it's just a waiting game for a couple of months or until a new Google Core update comes along.